Hello folks and welcome to another Starfield video. Now this one's going to be about FSR 3 and how well it works in this game and whether it really gives you that much more performance. So to get this, you're going to want to open up your Starfield uh, menu on Steam, click on Manage, head down to Properties, go to Betas and then select Beta. Close that, oops, close that down and then it will say Update here. So what we're going to do now is open up the game and see the performance differences, how good it is, whether it gives you any glitches, that sort of thing. Bear in mind it is a beta. So I'll open up the game, let's get into that. Okay, so traditionally Aquila City is one of the areas that will really hit the frame rate hard. So we're running into the main area here and we're getting 46 FPS here. Um, so I'll show you my current settings so you can see, and this is on RTX 2080. So I've got, you can see all my settings here. Um, most areas run fine with this, and I'm currently using DLSS. So let's tick this over to FSR 3 with frame generation, and let's see what we get then. So everything else stays the same, but we'll now go frame generation and see what we're hitting now. Hmm. So with frame generation turned on, we're at a lock 60. Oh, this is embarrassing. So I've got the frame rate locked to 60. Right, I'll sort that out and then we'll have a look. Okay, so I'm very happy to say that with an unlocked frame rate, which might introduce some tearing, um, I'm now getting 102 FPS um, in Aquila City, which was previously just an awful place, uh, frame rate wise. So for another test, we're getting 104 FPS here, which is pretty nice indeed. But let's do another test. Why don't we set everything to ultra, including the resolution scale, and um, see what we can get from that. Look, yep, yeah. alright, let's see what we get with everything set to ultra now. Okay, so that has dipped the frame rate down to about 65 FPS, but that is with all settings to ultra, um, which I'm not really sure, um, in all honesty, that you even need, that it even makes that much difference to the image quality. Um, but it's good to know you can play everything on ultra and actually still get a decent frame rate now, and that is thanks to AMD. So if I turn this back down to where it was, which was about 58%, let's go ahead and see what that does. Okay, so we're getting over 70 FPS now, although we do have a touch of screen tearing. But, I've got to say, AMD's FSR 3 really does seem to work. Um, this is, in my experience, the area of the game with the worst um, performance and this really does seem to have made the difference here. So let's go ahead, I'll, I'll put this settings back to what they were. So yeah, I've had uh, shadow quality, medium, indirect lighting was high, reflections medium, put that on high, medium. Most stuff I leave on medium or low to be honest. I really haven't seen a huge amount of um, detail difference um, in having things on, diff on those higher settings. I am a fan of some sharpening, I've got to admit, I do like a bit of sharpening. Right, let's come out. So, I mean, it makes maybe a bit of difference to the lighting and stuff, but it's really not worth losing 30 FPS over. Because um, with this technology, I'm now playing this game um, at over 100 FPS in the worst area for performance. And, um, you know, people playing on Xbox are only getting 30 FPS. But then it's probably playing at 4K, whereas I'm not playing at 4K. So what we're going to do now is go to another city and just see how great the performance can be in another area. So here we are. I've just landed on Jemison in New Atlantis. And yeah, this technology, um, got to say, it's very welcome. And um, hey, hey, you. I need to talk to you. Oh, what is this guy? You're the one that was on Vixera, right? Yeah. Uh, you flew in. Yeah, 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 that's me. Yeah. I knew it. Yep, yep. 
Tell me a bit more. Yeah, I don't this normally skip nice. the dialogue, but um. This is good. Let's see what uh, there's this... credits in it. Everyone knows David, but Nadia is in charge of all the research. She's just share what you want then. Just go to the S. Keep it up, Tommy. Okay. So this area didn't ever have really the worst performance, um, but it is performing pretty nicely. I've got to be honest, AMD, um, you know, I've always been a bit of an Nvidia fan, but I don't really like the fact that Nvidia have kept their frame generation um, technology to the RTX 40 series. I really don't think that's necessary. Um, you know, you're talking about graphics cards here that can do, um, which one's the worst area for it? I think it might be the commercial district. Or is it? I can't remember. But you're talking about a graphics card here that can do ray tracing, but apparently isn't capable of doing frame generation. Mm. I understand that NVIDIA obviously want to sell um, their, their newest graphics cards and whatnot, um, but I really don't think um, that it's necessary for them to do it in that way. So this is also an area that can have some pretty nasty frame rate drops. But let's go back um, to the map here. And I can't remember which area, it might be the commercial district. Um, only at one of these areas it could sort of tank the performance um, a little bit. But performance is absolutely great. Um, perhaps it introduces a touch of latency. Yes, this is the area. This would normally quite heavily hit the performance, but we're you know we're getting we're hitting around 100 FPS a lot of the time here, and yet this is an area that would have really really killed it before. Especially when you get over here with all this foliage. So you've got a couple of choices really. Um, you could, I, I highly recommend playing with FSR 3 turned on, um, unless you have a 40 series graphics card, and then I suppose it might make more sense for you to use your uh, DLSS um, upscaling with frame generation. Um, but for me, this has always been one of the areas that really killed the performance. And it's playing it great now. You know, I'm getting 91 FPS. Um, it might be worth maybe going into NVIDIA Profile Inspector and perhaps locking the frame rate at say 80 or 75 because um, it's unlikely you're going to lock to a really high refresh rate monitor. Although I've only got a 2080 graphics card, um, so maybe you could. Um, but uh, the way I see it, you've got a couple of options. You can play on the settings that I'm playing on, um, which you know give you a decent um, image and um, you get a really good frame rate um, or you could lock it to 60 and then just play with everything turned right right up um, personally i prefer my option because i don't think turning everything right up makes a massive difference um, to the image quality but it's your option of course and so my verdict is fsr3 pretty pretty good indeed uh, it doesn't quite work with V-Sync, well I suppose it does work with, it doesn't work with adaptive V-Sync, um, but I suppose you could say it does because it's locked at 60 then. So I've had to turn V-Sync off, but I mean this frame rate is great. Uh, I'm very very happy with this and it's only in beta so it's probably only going to get better. Um, another thing you could do if you wanted to um, improve your image quality a little bit and lock it to 60 would be to increase the render resolution scale. Again, I don't know why um, Bethesda has chosen to do this. If you're using DLSS, you can do auto, you can do presets in here. It's essentially what this is. 58% is balanced, um, but I don't know why they chose not to have that in there. But then it is a beta, so you've got to give them a little bit of leeway. I would recommend if you've got an Nvidia graphics card turning on um, low latency, um, because FSR3, uh, being a software solution, does introduce a degree of latency. Um, to the process, but overall um, this is great and the higher frame rate is really appreciated and um, To be honest with you. Um, I'm not seeing 
too much ghosting. I mean, obviously I'm not at a digital foundry level, you know, they'll get right in there and have a proper look and I'm sure they'll do a more in-depth video than what I can do. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm not really seeing much ghosting here. I'm not even seeing much tearing and this is only a 60 Hertz TV. So I am very, very happy with this. FSR3, that's a big win in my book. Very impressed and I'd like to see it included in more games. Um, you know, it's nice to see AMD spreading the love, to be honest. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment, subscribe, share this video on social media, that really helps a lot. And uh, if you really like what I do, check out my Patreon as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.